the first three, four years, uh, actually all the large brands almost kicked us out. Uh, and by saying that you're a bunch of technology folks and uh, you don't understand the domain. Uh, so you can just create a technology product. In true sense, yes, we did create a technology product, but we almost started the word fintech in the country. And uh, in true sense, we have lived up to it. Uh, 11 years running, uh, we are profitable, we could sustain, and all this was made possible by the four value principles. And we call them as four I's. Um, the first one being innovation. Second is integrity, on which all our products are basically discovered, designed, developed, and produced, finally. Uh, then is inclusion, because all the products that we create finally helps from a perspective of inclusive growth and financial inclusion. And uh, fourth, important not for our industry segment, but for all, is impassioned. Unless we are very passionate about what we are doing, I don't think a brand can sustain for long. So these are four ethos on which Perfios has been growing year over year. And with this, uh, today uh, we are present in about six countries, uh, 220 clients only in India, with all the large banks, NBFCs, fintechs, insurance, AMCs, working with us, you name anyone. The largest bank of the country to the smallest bank in the country, to the small bank that would have got launched last year. Uh, we are present in Middle East, Southeast Asia, LATAM, uh, and it started in a small one-bedroom uh, hall kitchen apartment in Bangalore. Today we have five offices in India and about totally about eight offices across the globe. So I think for us and for any company or any brand to succeed or stay relevant, uh, what is important is continuous innovation and being agile. Because, uh, as somebody said earlier, uh, the road to ubiquitousness is uh, the 50 million uh, travelers for the airline industry first happened, I think, in 64 years, and Pokemon Go in 19 days. Uh, I think the time has come when it will take just about two days where anybody can reach 50 million users. So unless you are so much agile, your brand strategies are so much agile, if you make a five-year plan and a five-year brand strategy, I don't know how long it will hold good. So I think that's where Perfios is striving towards. We are very, very agile as a company and continuously innovating uh, and creating value-added products. Uh, just a quick reminder, and then we continue. Uh, we'll have to be a little agile as well. Uh, our guest of honor is in the house, and uh, uh, we wouldn't have him with us for too long. Uh, we would definitely want him up on stage too. We, on that note, all of us are intelligent people. We continue. Okay, good. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Vinesh Menon. I represent the Vibhya group of schools. Uh, we have about 33-odd schools across the country, 50,000 students, uh, catering to more than a lakh parents and their offsprings. Uh, Viraj, the, the, po the point that you made, the question that you raised, wouldn't have been more applicable for a sector like mine. Because uh, if we have to really live our brand, there are only two words that really go with it, value and trust. True. And especially we're talking about an audience which is parents and children. And uh, in a way, Akash has already articulated it, and, and I'm thankful to him because we are in the same, uh, let's say, sector in a way. Uh, brand for our schools, or brand for schools, really is an eyeball activity to start with. So when you launch a school in a city, there is, of course, a brand which is required for you to pull the initial admissions. And, and, and most of the branding in schools happen during the enrollments time. In fact, on a lighter note, uh, there are schools which have got hoardings where they have a school they have a child getting in from one end, and out comes Einstein in the other end. <laughs> so if there is an example of emotional connect, heart to heart, like you mentioned, it is from this industry. Right. Having said that, 
Uh, there is scale in the industry. Uh, we have got a chain of schools. We've got students across from Pune to Bangalore to, to Mumbai. Uh, but unless you are actually going to live and, and walk the talk of what you intend to uh, give as inputs to the child, uh, this is not going to work. And, 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 and in, in this industry, it's going to only happen over a period of time. So you end up having a child who's a brand ambassador in a way because he's going to spend almost 10 to 11 years from your school. Right. And he's going to be seen in communities, cultural events, sporting activities, international uh, you know, exchange programs. Uh, his performance in, in, in academics is going to talk a lot. So for us, it's all about simply walking the talk uh, around what we have promised as a brand. Uh, so in our case, there are three words that really drive us or drive the, let's say, the tagline of the brand, which is uh, enthuse, empower, and enlighten. So whatever be the situation, whether it is 10 years back or five years back or, or now or beyond, unless a child is empowered, enthused, and you know, gets enlightened in a classroom, uh, he or she is not going to be ready for the demanding world that's, that lays ahead of us. And we have a very huge responsibility to build and prepare a child for that demanding world. So in a way for us, just to wrap up, Brand, important, but it's only 50% of the battle won. Uh, what is really important is that we walk the talk, uh, uh, you know, that, that the brand actually applied, applies to the market. Yeah. Makes sense, absolutely, walk the talk. Thanks, Viraj. <coughs> I assure you I will be as agile as our brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, myself, I'm Kailash Desai as the managing director for a Swiss multinational company called as Andresen Hauser. We are into a field of process automation and controls. I mean, we are existing from last 53 years uh, across the globe, and we are present in 200 different countries. And of course, India becomes one of the prime country in Asia. One of the key reasons why we have been expanded so quickly and fast is the brand. We are very successful actually in constructing our brand and getting the trust from the customer, from the market. And coming to the point which Viraj has really touched on, I mean, how do we really achieve this? How do we really construct a brand which can lead to really gain the trust. The most important thing is the values. You know, if you have very strong values, be it a company or be it a person, I mean, every one of us as a human being, we are made up of some values, which we come from maybe our family, which come from our society, which comes from our friend circle. It equally applies when it comes to your company, when it comes to your product, when it comes to area of your operations. And we see that like our company has got four core brand values. Excellence, sustainability, commitment, and friendliness. Now these core four brand values are supported with many points beneath it. For example, excellence comes with the quality. I mean, if each and every one of the employees, those who are working, we have around 20,000 employees working across the globe. Each and every employee, when he joins the company, it's, it's made it mandatory that he goes through the complete induction like what are the core brand values and what he or she needs to do or depict when it comes to the uh, to, to do the business. And once this brand values not only goes into the head, but it has to go into the stomach and it has to be reflected, you know, when you really are operating. This really shows like which company you are coming from, what products you are manufacturing, which technology you are really bringing in. And then the most important thing is that you achieve to a critical point which can create an impact on the customer and that's that sustainability of the quality or the results which you are continuously delivering, which introduce yourself for a specific point which you are known for. For example, our Indian brand, we know Tata, we know Mahindra. When these names come, we know a specific thing which is coming from them. Something similar which across the company which constructs your brand makes you very strong. And then comes the last step, which is the trust, which is the most important factor. Because irrespective of which continent you are making, but then you define yourself by the kind of trust which cannot be really measured or quantified. But it's the trust which really gains and constructs your brand. And this helps you to really expand your business. Lastly, which I would say, like if one has to really achieve in this complete process, you need to really adapt the strong systems. You need to believe on the systems because systems can help you to deliver the consistent results. And once you are consistent in delivering the result, this helps you to really bring in the products or the quality which is actually be desired and given into the market. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Uh, uh, exactly 30 more seconds. Akash, I'd like you to sum up for a simple reason that I know that uh, when we started, we started with you. And I, th I, I thought you kept it crisp because you wanted a quick volley. So here is your closure. 
I think one of the important things uh, which most of the people confuse is, uh, you know, marketing is branding. Absolutely not. Marketing is not branding. Branding is about building trust by doing small, 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 many things. You know, you walk into this hotel, the brand gets built the moment, you know, the way the, the person opens the door. The brand gets built the way you walk into a washroom and see how clean that is. The brand gets built the way you know you talk to the first person you enter in the hotel. So I think this is where people get confused when you're talking about building a brand and creating trust for the brand. You gotta do small, 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 these little things every day, repeatedly, over and over again, so that people see that as a pattern. And they try to associate those patterns with your strength and the, stay and the style and the value that you want to deliver. I think this is where uh, you know, most of the people are going wrong. And I strongly believe that it's not about b big ads. It's not about you know, uh, talking loudly. It's not about even digital. I mean, people say digital is the solution for everything. I think they're highly mistaken. Digital is just a delivery mechanism. If you want to be relevant, does not mean that you don't have to be on digital. I mean, you have to be on digital uh, responding to those queries because today's relevance is that you need to be upfront and agile with your customers who are happy and who are not happy. If, you know, somebody talked about emotions, very, very important. But what kind of emotions? What kind of emotion? Is it rough? Is it, you know, soft? Is it romantic? Is it agile? Is it fiery? What kind of emotion do you want to associate with your brand? I think these small, 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 small things and defining each one of them and putting them into a sequence and repeating every year really builds that brand. And that's what we need to really look at. Fantastic. Absolutely well said. Um, each aspect of what you're doing, every action of yours and your stakeholders in one way is either adding to your asset or, you know, to your liability. So you have to really look at consciously each action that goes into bringing your values to life. On that note, panelists have done a splendid job. A big round of applause for all of them. Thank you so much, panelists. Thank you very, very much. I'm not going to make uh, our guests of honor wait. Uh, I'm, in fact, going to call um, the MC for the evening back on stage to do the honors of introducing our guests of honor to you. So, Shagufta, it's over to you. Thank you so much, Viraj, and those were quite pumped up panel discussion rounds, and you guys have changed my definition of brand, what brand stands for. And moving on, I would like to call on stage our Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Government of India, Shri G. Kishan Reddy Ji, and Mr. Abhimanyu Khosh, Editor-in-Chief, WCRC 